All right, so let's look at problem five from the free response section from the 2015 AP Calculus AB exam. We have the region R is this part enclosed by these two graphs, g of x is equal to the square root of x and h of x is equal to x over three. Find the region of R. Okay, so this is gonna be just your basic like top function minus the bottom function integrating from zero to nine. So we're gonna have the square root of x minus x over three or one third x. And then we just integrate this. We'll get x to the three halves power over three halves minus one third. x squared over two, so three times two. So simplifying this, we'll have two thirds x, the three halves, minus one six x squared, And then we're going from zero to nine. And then we just, you know, do, do, do a good, good, old, good old fundamental theorem of calculus, throw the nine into there. Or let's go to the next line so we have good room. Two thirds, nine to the three halves. This is nine times the square root of nine. So it's nine times three or 27. Minus one six times nine squared. So 81 over six. This plug in the zero though, that, that just won't do anything. These threes cancel, so you have 18 minus 81 over six. You wanna re reduce this, so you can break this into, um, well, you, can, you can actually break this down, 27, right? 27, yeah, 27 over two. Oh, so 18 minus 13 and a half. So you'll get 4.5. All right, now it's simple. Part B, right, but do not evaluate an expression involving one or more integrals that give the volume of the solid generated when R is revolved about the horizontal line Y equals four. So let me, uh, let me just draw a little sketch again here. So the line y equals four. We have the x-axis over here. That's your y-axis. And we have um, the one-third x and then the square root of x. Let me just, again, just try a, a, the best sketch I can. That's your one-third x. And square root of x. And this is your r. Now, if you're going to rotate it about this horizontal line, you're going to be rotating it like that. Or, you know, in that direction, or, in, you know, in that way. Let's label this 9 to 3. Now, these ones are tricky at first. Um, my students always, um, tend to be stumped when you um, see these first in at uh, chapter seven, because they're kind of like counterintuitive. So let's, let's go through it. So um, remember, we look at, this is the axis of revolution. And what you want to understand is that you want to look at the, the, the lines or the functions in terms of how far they are from this axis. So here you have the closer one here to here, that's your small radius. And the farther one will be the, the, the one third X. That'll be your large R. Now, um, if you remember like the whole uh, 
volume is the pi times r of x squared minus small r of x squared. So we want to figure out that radius. This radius will be equal to 4 minus this part right here. So big R will be 4 minus this equation here, because we're going to need to take away that. So 4 minus x over 3. And little r, likewise, will be 4 minus the square root of x. 4 minus the square root of x. Then from there, we set up our integral. I integrate from 0 to 9 from left to right, and we just put this in here. If I can make it fit neatly, the so 4 minus x over 3 squared minus 4 minus the square root of x squared dx. All right. We don't even have to solve it. That's all we have to do. All right, and the last one. Find the maximum vertical distance between the graph of G and the graph of H between x equals 0 and x equals 16. Just to find our answer. Um, so the, let's look for an equation for the distance. So G and G and H. So going back to here. So the g is the x squared, h is the x over three. So the distance, remember, is this. This well, let's, let's call this b. Let's have let's have this length brd. We want to see when is that a maximum. You know, over here you can see as it gets closer to the edge, you know, it gets smaller because obviously it's, it's going to get to zero. But when is the, the greatest? When is that you know vertical line segment the greatest? So d will then be equal to the, to the square root of x minus one third x. Let's start there. And to understand the behavior of, of d, we need, we're going to take the derivative, look for the critical points, look for the derivative is 0, and see what the values are of the distance. Then we can get an idea of when it's, going to, when it's the largest. Taking this derivative, we'll have d prime of x be 1 half times x to the negative 1 half minus 1 third. Set this equal to 0. Zero is one half x, the negative one half minus one third. Solving this, add the one third, multiply by two. We get two thirds is equal to. One over the square root of x. Solving for x, let's, let's take the square root on top. So let's multiply both sides of the square root and then multiply this side by three halves. So we get the square root of x equals three over two. And that means if we, after we square both of these, we'll get x equals nine over four because this whole thing is squared. So then now we just look like, so that's what, um, that's what, uh, the, the value there will be. Um, well, no, sorry. So this is what the X, this is where, this is where a possible, um, maximum could occur when X equals nine over four. So then we check that we'll, we'll check this and we just, we need, just need to check the endpoints. So we're going to check X equals zero. X equals nine fourth and x equals 16. Plugging those into the equation for this, 0 will just be 0. Mm 
b of 0 will be 0. Plug in 9 fourths. We'll get the square root of 9. We'll get the square root of 9 fourths. So d of 9 fourths equals the square root of 9 fourths minus 1 third times 9 fourths. Square root of 9 fourths is 3 halves because 3 times 3 is 9 and 2 times 2 is 4. So minus 9 twelfths. Would that be how many how many twelves is that? That would be three thirty six. No, eighteen over twelve minus nine over twelve. What oh, do you know? You get you get the same thing. Nine or eighteen minus nine. Oops, eighteen minus nine is nine. So then we get nine twelfths as our final answer. All right, and. There you go, that's all for that problem. I hope, I hope that helps and just let me know if you have any questions in the comments section and I will see you guys the next one.